Hi, so in the last video we were talking about that really comfortable zone that we drill down into when life gets a bit tough, when we feel a bit challenged um, and we just need to do things that make us feel a little bit better because we're already fighting so many wars on so many different fronts. Um, the first thing that I've done today uh, while I'm asking myself how do I even begin to start moving past or moving away from all the poor choices that I've been making over the last few weeks or a couple of months maybe um, is start saying no. It sounds really simple. <laughs> it's not. Obviously anybody who's tried to say no to a little child would know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of tantrums. Um, I've had to say no to myself a handful of times already this morning and it's just about lunchtime now. Um, especially when packing the children's lunches this morning. There was a spoonful of pasta left and I'm like, oh yeah, I'd love to try, taste it, see what it tastes like and it's just a spoonful. What's the big deal? I'm going to chuck it into, this, into the bin. Um, that's just wasteful. And I really want to taste it. I want to know what it tastes like and make sure it's okay. Um, I had to say no to myself five times about that to be able to um, <sighs> to be able to move past that urge, the the urge not to waste, the urge of curiosity. What does it taste like? Are they going to like it? Are they going to eat it? It's very healthy. Um, it was brown rice pasta with. Uh, uh, with uh, vegetable stock with mushrooms and celery uh, cut up and boiled uh, in there with a bit of almond milk for creaminess. Um, oh, hopefully I put salt and pepper in there. See, I don't remember. <laughs> I should have tasted it. Anyway, so I managed. I said no to myself a handful of times and got through that, got through the urge. Um, and then the next thing was I needed to go out to pick something up and supermarkets are my weakness I um, can't resist the junk food aisles uh, all that processed food uh, while it makes me feel so unhappy physically mentally it makes me feel pretty good for about five minutes uh, while I'm mindlessly chomping on the snack or whatever I've picked up bags and bags of snacks that I've picked up um, I'm not really thinking about anything else. Uh, my mind is just quiet uh, and I really enjoy that feeling. I also enjoy not having to cook and having a mountain of dishes to do at the end of all that cooking. Um, I don't mind healthy food. I've actually developed a taste for really um, healthy and wholesome meals, preferably made by myself to my taste. Whether it's a salad or a soup or a stir fry, um, I've developed recipes that that make me feel really, really good and, and make me enjoy the food. It might be a little bit too salty for some people or too oily for other people, but I started off in a place where um, I didn't care how healthy it was as long as it was chock full of vegetables and then slowly pared back the less healthy ingredients within that recipe until I had something that was fairly clean and, and nutritious that I would allow my children to eat. They're my biggest motivators. Um, I have always fed them really, really well. They've always had gluten-free diet, uh, dairy-free diet, sugar-free for the most part. As they grow older, that was uh, almost impossible with all the friends' birthday parties. Um, and my biggest indicator of the food that I cooked was, would I allow my children to eat this? Um, sadly, most of the time I wouldn't because my choices for myself are so much worse <laughs> or poorer than the food I offer to my children. Um, but yeah, I understood what good nutrition, or I understand what good nutrition looks like. It was just a question of changing my taste buds, my mindset, and my willingness to eat food that was that bland or that healthy. And I have to be honest, um, the more my diet changed to be healthy, the 
easier it was for me to crave healthier food so yesterday actually um while i was still living on potato chips and crackers and whatever else ice cream um my body suddenly said i want broccoli let's go and buy some broccoli and i found that really weird but it was a craving it was an actual craving so i went out and i got some broccoli and we will cook it up today and see what that feels like um hopefully that will be the next step in trying to change or shift um where i've been coming from for the last few months i am not ready to just jump into an intermittent fast of 18 hours or a water fast of you know 24 hours or whatever even though i would like to because i know that will be a quick reset and i'll feel so much better for it and and my body will just feel lighter and i'll feel more motivated um so the other thing i had to say no to really sternly to myself and had to answer this question in my mind over and over and over again was while we're on our way out to pick up whatever we need why don't we just pop in at the supermarket and grab a few bags of potato chips because you know we're gonna need them they're easy you wouldn't have to cook for yourself and you'll enjoy it and you'll feel better for having it and you know you might not really want the broccoli and it might not fill you up uh, is the conversation that goes on in my mind and um you know it, it was hard uh i said no uh i said maybe i said mm, let's see i said uh, oh we're almost here um should we take this turn or not i said okay let's just try a different route and go past the supermarket and see maybe if we want to stop in it's exhausting <laughs> it's exhausting but yay i didn't stop in at this at the supermarket i got the idea of doing these videos instead and um sharing the struggle the struggle is real um it is very very hard i've tried blogging about it in the past about how challenging it is to shift from where you are to where you know you could be and where you'd be so much better um i hope you guys are enjoying the journey and thank you for listening bye